Welcome back to the channel and today I am checking out the brand new airborne expansion in Trailmakers that officially releases in just a couple of days but the developers were kind enough to give me early access so I could show you guys what you're going to be getting into if you get the new airborne expansion. Now the airborne expansion does come with an actual paid DLC that gives you access to a brand new campaign mode but also a free update if you don't get the paid DLC everybody's going to be getting brand new building parts and vehicle mechanics when it comes to aiming the weapons and things like that so vehicle combat is changed just across the board I think it's going to be vastly approved and that is a free part of this update that you're going to get no matter what so I'm super excited to dive straight into this new airborne campaign where we have to save Save the Chirpos from Evil Pirate Robot. I think this will also give us a pretty good introduction into uh, what's new when it comes to the flight mechanics and the uh, combat mechanics and things like that. Across All right, here we go. Galaxy, evil robot pirates have been wreaking havoc for years. Epic voice actor here. Looting and plundering planet after planet. One of the pirate ships has landed on a remote cloud world home of the peaceful bird people known as Chirpos. Bird people. Interesting. As a trusted trail maker, you have been dispatched to stop the pirates. Dear colleague, you are within firing range of the pirate ship. Target locked. Opening fire in three. That's two, a big gun. One. Can we fly that ship? I want to fly that ship. Oh boy. These pirates are prepared. That's a, also a big gun. Wow. Pirate we were not prepared. Mission status active. Good luck. Apparently they hired the wrong person. We were not the right person for this job. Okay. Well, send your smallest ship. All right. Here I come, Chirpos. I'm the best guy for the job. You won't regret this. Bork. The Chirpos are borking. We're being attacked. I'm not a pirate. Oh, okay. They thought I was attacking. No, I am not a pirate. I'm a trail maker. Oh, this may not be your lucky day. All right. Terry the Chirpo. He wants a ride back to his home. Do I get to build a car now? All right. First things first. Uh, drive Terry home. So this is also giving me a little bit of a... Oh, enter. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't have time to read that. So in the top right, you can see our quest, Drive Terry Home. This is actually all new. The compass is also new. This is really awesome already. All right, press B to enter builder mode, and I need a passenger seat. All right, well, this is interesting. Let's start with the uh, tutorial vehicle, just so I can see what it's going to be like for anybody else who's also starting with this, even though I know how to build. I am an expert. Oh, I'm already doing it wrong. I'm already doing it wrong. I'll modify that statement. I'm not an expert. I'm a professional, okay? More accurate. Oh, new seats. Look at that new seat. All right, put some steering hinges on here. Wow, things go so much faster when it tells me exactly what to do. Oh, I messed up again. <laughs> Good at following instructions. There we go. Check it out. So what is this seat all about? Hold on. Oh, look at the icons. Propulsion. Okay, so we're gonna we're definitely gonna have to unlock the parts here. You can see for propulsion, all I have access to is a bulldog engine. So now we have, oh, it's specifically a passenger seat. Fits a single passenger. So I'm assuming the passenger seat then. Here, let's go to... Oh, I don't have access to settings. Oh, the passenger seat doesn't have a settings icon. This is actually really good because normally every single seat was a driver's seat. So they would all the seats would have access to the controls. But the passenger seat looks like it is not going to have any controls. Oh, look at that. The turbo just he just he just came in. Uh, he just walked in all by himself. Get ready to see the tallest building in the world. OK, this must not be a very big world then. My town, Cloudville. I'm the mayor here. Lately, it's been a pretty tough job. Is this the tallest building in the world? It is a pretty tall building, but I mean, hey, where I'm from, buildings get pretty tall. Welcome to our fantastic home here in Skylands. Creative name. I'm sad to say that things are a bit chaotic with the pirate invasion going on. My chirpos are scattered all over the place and we need them back in the safety of our town. Some of my sheep herders got scared and now they're stuck in the lower plateau here. With your building skills, I think you might be able to rescue them. What are these? What are these little cubes? I think you need a bit more engine power before trying to make that jump. Wow, we're going to be really gradually uh, progressing here, aren't we? 
Luckily, oh, these are power cores. Power cores lying around in the area. Pick them up and upgrade your car. All right, that sounds easy enough. There's one right behind me. Mission started, a helping hand rescue the chirpos. So there they are down there. Power core unlocked. This is already so cool. Like just the icon, the icons are, I don't know. I just like the icons. Oh, look at my ma uh, my uh, compass. What is over in that direction? There's a treasure chest of sorts. Okay. Oh, you got a runway here for a plane? Oh, here's the sheep. What happens if I hit a sheep? <laughs> okay, they are solid. That is one tough sheep. All right, so now that I got a power core, well, hold on, I'm not done yet. There's another one over here, and it looks like... Man, there's so many things I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even sure how I interact with certain things. Is it just like proximity? Do I get to press a button to talk to a chirpo? All right, got another power core. Oh, look at that one on the little island over there. Tiny little island. All right, I'm curious if I go near this Chirpo, am I able to talk to him? Hmm. All right, doesn't look like there's a particular interact button or anything that I'm aware of yet. All right, I'm just gonna go everywhere I can go without going across this jump first, and then we'll go across the jump. That is my play style. Explore everything other than the main uh, objective first and then have the NPCs get mad at you for taking so long. So what is, what is this all about? What are you looking at? Oh, look at this treasure chest. Wait, I can't get to that treasure chest yet. Wait, no, I can if I go around the back. Oh, I'm gonna go to that treasure chest. Power core unlocked. I got a bunch of power cores now. This treasure chest isn't even on the map. Is it a real treasure chest? I can't fit back here, but I can, uh, I can jump back here. 250 gold, okay. So they do have gold kind of like the uh, the other campaigns and you can use that gold to unlock some more parts if you haven't already. All right, so I've got a bunch of power cores now. What does that let me do? Let's go, all right, a bunch of these parts are new. We still only have bulldog engines. So I'm gonna modify this starting vehicle. So I got bulldog engine there. Bulldog engine there, a bulldog engine there, and a bulldog engine there. And there's four out of four power cores. Oh, it tells you the number of passenger seats too. That's a new, a new piece of information in the HUD. All right, now how fast am I? Oh yeah, this ought to do it. Wait, R to repair. Okay. In the bottom left, there's a new repair indicator, which is interesting. Here I come. Woo! Oh, that was satisfying. That was a satisfying landing. How are we supposed to fit in there? Oh, I need four passenger seats. You need more passenger seats. You're right. I have, I was just not thinking ahead. All right, there's two passenger seats. Um, You know what? I'm going to move this engine forward and this engine forward. Copy these passenger seats and just attach them to the sides like that. There we go. I think that actually looks pretty nice. There you go. Come on, chirpos. Yeah, this is great. All right, so by the looks of it, I got to jump back. Let me check out. Oh, that's an easy jump. That's a really easy jump. Ready? Here we go. Got four Chirpos lives in my hands. Just gotta be careful not to fall off the Sky Island. I wonder what happens if I fall off the Sky Island. I'll probably just die and respawn right here, huh? There you go, Chirpos. Back into the tallest building in the world. I'm giving you an inflatable balloon block. This is one of the new uh, airborne blocks. It will let you build a sh simple airship. You should now be able to fly to the other islands. Well, that was quick. We're already getting airborne. This is the airborne expansion. Some of my chirpos are stranded there. Oh, by the crashed plane over there. Wait, why do birds need planes? Someone explain to me why the birds need planes. Well, I guess build an airship and see if you can reach them and then bring them back to me. I guess it's kind of like asking why people need cars. I mean, we're capable of moving on land, but we still build cars. Don't stray too far, why not? The pirates are patrolling the skies. That answers my question. I need guns. So far, they have shot at everything in sight. Well, they haven't seen me yet. <laughs> Blueprint available. Terry's blimp. Oh, Terry's gonna give me a blimp? Rocket thruster unlocked. Oh! Small tail fin unlocked. Okay, that's a normal part. We already had one of those. Start rescue mission. Press backspace. All right, well, backspace it is. Mission started, first flight. Rescue the chirpos. If you slap some inflatable balloons, you can fly. And the rocket thrusters should give you some forward motion. Oh, that's why I need the rocket thrusters. You're also welcome to use my own blimp. You know what? Why don't I try to make this car fly? How about that? So here's the blimp. Wow, there's a lot of fins on this thing. Built it myself, it's very well balanced. I feel like maybe I should have done that. Oh, look at these blueprints. Farah's racer, Pachi's plane, Beetle bomber, 
Crisp Air Raider, and Chronos Skylift. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt to modify this vehicle uh, to be able to accommodate blimp controls. And if it does not work out, then I'll try out Terry's blimp. I mean, I know he probably really wants to show it to me, but let's see what I, let's see what I can do here. Oh, these thrusters attach on one on the end like this. So in the balance uh, category, we have inflatable balloon. All right, how does this thing arc? So this thing just has attachment points on all sides. This is actually a pretty big piece right here. I'm starting to uh, think this was a bad idea. Initial inflation, so you can set how inflated it starts. Gas mixture, that's basically the lifting power, interesting. Let's just see how much power this has on its own. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. This cannot lift me on its own. And there's the thrust. Yeah, so I am definitely going to need a way to steer. I actually don't have access. All I have access is a bulldog engine and a rocket thruster. I don't have access to servos for steering. All right, this is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I was expecting. So you know what? Let's go ahead and give Terry's blimp a chance, okay? That way we can just start progressing further through the campaign and unlocking more parts to build crazier vehicles. All right, so here is what Terry's blimp looks like. I'm, con I'm curious how the controls are gonna go. Oh, are you actually just using separate thrusters to turn? Well, let's see. Let me see how your airship works, Terry. So space, A, D. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So you're using some of the power cores on the tail there, and the tail is using thrust to uh, turn. All right, so how do I go up? Is W, W to go up, space to go forward. Wow, this thing actually is really stable. And then turning, that's kind of genius. This is like, a lot more simpler of a control scheme than I was planning on doing. Although my vehicle was going to have ground capabilities, but I really feel like that's not that necessary. All right, now I got a power core. All right, but I gotta go rescue these chirpos over here. But first, I see treasure over here. All right, go up, please. Man, look at this. There's like, there's ground below there. Like there's a whole world below there, I'm pretty sure, below the clouds, but we don't even get to see it yet. This is like, I, th this campaign is so different than anything Trailmakers has done before. Oh wait, how do I stop? How do I stop? How do I stop? Eh, camera block unlocked. Ooh, that's a new part. I'm excited about that part. Hold on, let's go into build mode. Gadgets, camera block. Switch your camera to this block. So interesting. You can see what direction it's facing. So that's up. So I could have an upside down camera if I wanted to. Oh, you know what? You know what? It's gonna be good with this. Let's have a bottom camera. So this camera is going to be looking down from like the center of the vehicle. And then if I press one, it will be camera one. Oh, I can change the field of view and stuff too. All right, I think like 80 degrees is a good standard field of view. Oh, this is interesting. We have new advanced part indicators. Oh, look at this. This is great. Center of forces. Use the different force indicators to build a well-balanced vehicle. When I was putting the balloon on my car, that would have been useful. So there's our center of thrust. So you can see center of mass and center of lift are in line with each other, which is great. But if I moved this balloon back here, you can see center of lift gets recalculated back here. The lift from balloon is misaligned to the left. This will make your vehicle tilt to the side when flying. Oh yeah, even from this area, you can see. That's interesting. So then if I go back over here, you can see now it is nice and centered. That's cool. It actually gives you a warning and tells you what's wrong with your build too. The lift from balloon is behind the center of mass, which will make your vehicle point downward when flying. This is so, this is gonna make building flying vehicles so much better. The forward thrust is above your center of mass. This will push your nose down and make it go, make it hard to go straight. Well, I mean, easy enough solution is just putting thrust down a little bit. There we go. All right. Oh, now let's check out this camera block. So let's lift up. And now I will press number one. Oh, I got to hold it. Okay, hold on. Go back into build mode. Go back down to the ground. So you want to switch it to toggle. What is the angle? I don't know what angle means. Limits the view angle of the camera. Sets the field of view of the camera. Oh, is that for moving the camera? Like if I go number one. Oh, now I can move around like this. And now if I set the angle down to like seven degrees, and now I try to look around, this is all I can look around now. Oh, interesting. So that's really, really good because then you can fine tune the degrees so that you're not clipping into your vehicle if you have it built inside like a cockpit or like you're a bombing bay or something. 
So this is this is awesome. All right, well, it's time to save the chirpos now that I'm done experimenting with all these new things. All right, chirpos, here I come. Oh, 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 how are we supposed to fit in there? Oh, I don't have any seats on here. My bad, my bad, I should have known better. Should have known, should have learned my lesson. All right, so now I gotta pay attention to my center of mass uh, in relation to my center of lift. It looks like my center of mass and lift are still pretty well aligned, so let's go with that. All right, hop on in, chirpos. Great flying, thank you. Now get those chirpos back to me. Wait, how are you seeing this? How are you watching me? Where are you? Are you using my camera? All right, here I come. Oh, oh, there's a treasure chest up there. I'm going to get that treasure chest real quick. Sorry, detour. Detour, you guys get to come with me on the detour. All right, this is probably a new part, isn't it? Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh no, chirpos, I'm so sorry. You trusted me. You trusted me. What did I hit? I didn't even think I was gonna hit anything. I'm so sorry, chirpos. Oh, I repaired. I repaired midair. No, we're safe. We're gonna be safe, right? We're gonna be safe, right? Come on, lift, lift, lift. It's getting hazy. Oh, my vision's clouding. I can't see anymore. Oh no. I don't know what direction I'm going. Am I going down or up? Oh, what is this meter in the bottom left? Oh, <gasps> is that the repair meter? You can only repair so many times. Uh, it has a cooldown period. That's an interesting mechanic. I'm glad I actually got to experience that. So, in previous versions of the game, you could only repair when you were on the ground and you couldn't really repair in the air, but this is the airborne expansion. So the way that they've accommodated that is you can repair in the air, but there's a cooldown timer to it. Oh no, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I keep pressing S to go backwards, but there is no backwards on this. Definitely a big limitation. All right, well, narrowly avoided killing all of my passengers. <laughs> All right, and my repair is recharged, so I feel relatively safe. Now let's try again on uh, picking up whatever this part's going to be. Be gentle now. There we go, a weight block. That's gonna be useful. All right, let's get out of the way of the terrain. And now let's go get this power core over here. Get the power core, there we go, power core achieved. All right, chirpos have been delivered. Smart cannon has been unlocked, yes. Could you help me out? I just got word that one of our airplanes has been shot down by a pirate balloon. Mount a smart cannon on your airship. Teach that scoundrel a lesson. Oh, and don't forget to pick up the crashed chirpos. Here it is, the first time we get to uh, experience the new fighting combat mechanics. So what's interesting with this to me is that the smart cannon has an, like this is a different named object. Before we just had a cannon, but this one's called a smart cannon. So I'm wondering if we will still have access to the normal cannon that doesn't actually home in on things. So let's uh, let's see what this thing's all about then. This thing costs two power cores, which I have exactly enough to handle this. So I'm just gonna put it right up in front there. I can set things to mouse click now. So it's on one, now it's on left click. That is great. Being able to actually click to fire. Look at that fire rate. Oh, wait, what? It, wait, it's slow now. Oh, look, you have the, you see the ammo filling up. So then when it depletes, you can only shoot as fast as it's, uh, it's recharging. But if you let it charge up, you can let a whole volley out. Oh. <gasps> I am so looking forward to an air battle right now. All right, I'm coming. I am coming for you, uh, pirate. Rescue the chirpos. So that pirate, you can see the pirate balloon way up there. So I'm assuming once I get close enough to it, the smart cannon will then lock on. Oh, there's a pirate balloon over here too. There's a couple of pirate balloons. Oh, there's three pirate balloons. I'm just noticing more now. All right, well, let's head after this guy first. I am so excited for this. I am so excited for this. Yes. Yes, take that. I can actually see the impact of the recoil. All right, now let's go after this one over here. Did I, can I, oh, I actually hit it. Even though I wasn't locked on because I'm not close enough. I don't know which one. Oh, there we go. There we go. See, once you get within range, it locks on. Oh, they're, they're locking on me now. All right, hold on, recharge, recharge while I get closer. All right, locked, there we go. Oh, I just got hit. Oh. Oh boy, you can see, you can see the damage. Ooh, this is cool. This was a great introduction to battling. All right. I got to take some damage without getting completely uh, taken down from the sky. <gasps> That's a lot of chirpos. Hey, you guys, hold on a second, guys, okay? I'm just gonna go get some loot real quick. It'll help me save you better. 
or something. These chests are like super important. How come this one isn't on my, uh, it's not on my compass. There's a power core on my compass, but this is a chest, not a power core. So I'm wondering why that, see there's one showing up in that direction, but what is this? What determines whether it shows up or not? There we go. Grid block. All right, that'll just be good for a general building. All right, hold on, guys. I just got to get some loot over here. There's some gold. No, the gold, it, uh, fuel isn't free, okay? I mean, it, it actually literally is in this game, but uh, I just got to make sure they, they have a reason for waiting so long for me to save them from their traumatic experience. All right, hold on. I'm just going to check the side of the island. All right, just going to check, go on and check the side of the island real quick. Just uh, hold on tight. Don't worry. I've taken care. Oh, there's a power core. Oh, and a chest. Oh, no. Ah. Whoa, did you feel that? That impact had like a camera shake to it and the sound was better. That, I actually felt that like more than uh, normal. I don't know if that was an illusion or what, but I think that was like, that's an actual game, a difference in the game is um, the impacts. Oh, look at this treasure, <gasps> more parts. Can I walk and get a power core with my character or do I have to be in a vehicle? Can I pick you up? Yeah, all right, I don't need to be in a seat. That's good. Then I might as well go and pick up these parts over here. All right, what are you? Headlamp. If it gets dark, I will probably use that. And there's one over here too, wasn't there? Tail lights. Okay, it'll let the pirates know if I'm slowing down or not. Okay, chirpos, here I come. Do I really gotta put eight seats? I thought I was gonna make two two trips. I actually have to put eight seats. All right, all right. Oh, I suppose so. Now let me see if I can actually, oh boy, here they come. They're already coming. One at a time, guys, one at a time. All right, can I lift off? I cannot lift off. Oh no. Feathers just went everywhere and I thought I killed them all. All right, but I have an issue. I don't have enough lift anymore. So I should have way more lift now. Hop on in guys. And oh yeah, there we go. Oh, this feels better. This feels so much better now. All right, and we have some defenses too. All right, I am gonna have to start adding some thrust though. But let's get this treasure chest over here. Don't worry, it's kind of on the way. Uh, there we go, perfect. I have way more agility when it comes to my altitude now. All right, Chirpos, welcome home. You're welcome. Amazing work, Trailmaker. It's great to have all my Chirpos back in town again. That's everybody, all right. I have repopulated the town. All right, that sounded weird. I don't read too much into that. We need to put an end to this pirate invasion. That's a scary looking place. Really hoped it wouldn't come to this, but the only way is to assemble the ancient Chirpo weapon again. What are you guys up to? Here, this is my slice of the weapon. You should go help out the other mayors in the world. Interesting. They each hold one of the six slices. To give me Triforce vibes from Zelda. I must assemble the shards of the ancient Chirpo weapon. The now peaceful Chirpos were once apparently <laughs> some kind of overlords. I'm really curious what the story is behind why they had to break up their weapon into the six shards. What happened where they were like, this is too much. We can't, uh, we cannot have uh... Oh, did you see that again? The corners of the screen. Oh, <gasps> I'm smoking. Oh, I wanna do that again. Okay, all right, that was a little bit different. I wanna see what I, I, I'm, I'm playing with fire here. Oh yes, the impact. Oh, what is, there was a floppy disk in the bottom right. I think it just auto saved. The impact is so much better. Like you, it just, it, it's so much of a better, uh, just feeling now. All right, is anything actually, I'm not seeing damage. Like when am I gonna end up dying or, uh oh, whoa, oh my gun. Oh, I unlocked a normal thruster. Fairly good aerodynamics. I realized that my HUD was off because I was getting a thumbnail and I missed some of and I, it. I guess it saved up some of those uh, menu things. It seems like I have un unlimited repair here, but if I'm in the air, I gotta find out. Now if I repair. Yeah, now there's a charge. Oh, oh, I gotta be careful not to die right now though. All right, and then come back down to the ground. And then, okay, when you're on the ground where you would normally be able to repair in other modes, you have unlimited repair. That makes sense. But in the air, it uh, recharges. Oh, look. Look at the uh, the compass. There's a... Somebody's over there, which is interesting. And there's a bunch of pirates as well. 
Okay, so I've unlocked the mini thruster. I'm really curious. A tiny and cheap jet engine with low thrust versus a small and cheap jet engine with low thrust. Power si Oh, we have power rating. Power 60, power 80. So that's good because the mini thrusters are a little bit more powerful. Um, they weigh the same amount and they actually cost the same amount of power cores. So if I just replace all of my current thrusters uh, with these, I will be just a little bit more agile. So I'm going to make some slight modifications to this build here. All right. And I finally have a bunch of aerodynamic blocks. These are some pretty good ones. So let's put a little bit of aerodynamics on here. Uh, what will actually help is opening up the aerodynamics panel. Oh, block input. Whoa, this is so useful. We didn't have this before. It gives you a really easy overview of where your controls are. That's nice. And I can see some clear spots where my aerodynamics are absolutely uh, terrible. All right, well, with the power of wedges, I made this thing ever so slightly more aerodynamic. Uh, let's see how this thing feels to fly around now. All right, here we go. Feels relatively m more maneuverable. Oh boy, I just, I'm really bad at just controlling my, uh, <laughs> my altitude. The balloons are just so slow acting to change that I just, I have trouble dialing it in. All right, but here we go. What happens if I shoot a sheep? Okay, I'm pretty sure I hit one of them and nothing happened, so these sheep are just like really, really durable. Oh yeah, look at that. He's a tank. He's a tank. Nothing's getting through him. It's all that wool. Where there's a wool, there's a way. All right, so this feels like a pretty good vehicle now. I'm gonna crash it. Oh man, the impact. Oh, look at the fire and stuff too. So much better destruction mechanics. This is going to completely change the game with like destruction derbies are going to be way more interesting. Multiplayer stuff's going to be uh, just add another level with this uh, with with these mechanics. Next up, it seems like I should be a good idea to go over to that icon over there. And I can't wait uh, until I actually get down to the, the surface, which I, I think I'm pretty sure there's a surface based off of the trailers. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you do not miss the future of this brand new campaign that I'm super excited to get more into, especially unlocking some of the bomber stuff and rockets. There's going to be bomber based weapons and rocket based weapons that are new that I have never used before. And I am so looking forward to that. So again, this update officially releases on the 27th. You guys can play it along with me because I'm definitely going to be savoring the moments here. But if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.